Hello there. My name is Corey, and I am a financial aid consultant with Stand By Me Next Gen. We are a nonprofit partner of the Delaware Department of Education's Higher Education Office, and we are dedicated to supporting seniors and their families as they navigate the world of financial aid for post secondary education. If you think that you don't need your parent or guardian after you've graduated from high school, think again. Federal student aid doesn't consider you grown in quite the same way that you and your family might. Just because you're legally an adult doesn't mean that you're going to be considered independent on the FAFSA. Now, every family and familial situation is different. And while that can be taken into account to some degree, chances are that your parent's information is going to be needed on your FAFSA. I'll let federal student aid explain it to you in this video. When you fill out the FAFSA, you'll be asked several questions that will determine whether you are an independent or dependent student. This is an important distinction, because if you're a dependent student, then you'll need to include your parents' financial information on your FAFSA. This means that your parents' financial information will be considered along with your information to determine your eligibility for federal student aid. So how do you figure out if you're an independent or dependent student? Generally, if you are a graduate student, on active duty in the U.S. Armed Forces, a veteran, are married, have children whom you support, or are 24 or older, then you are considered an independent student. If you don't meet any of these criteria, then you're likely considered a dependent student and will have to provide your parents' financial information when completing the FAFSA. If you have a different living situation, including divorced parents or living under the care of a grandparent or other relative, the online FAFSA will provide guidance to help you answer the parent questions. In other special circumstances, your status may not be as easy to determine, and you'll need guidance from the financial aid office at the college or career school you plan to attend. Some common questions that people often ask are, what if the FAFSA tells me I'm a dependent student? but my parents don't claim me on their taxes or I've moved out of their house and am financially independent. While these situations do arise, they aren't part of the criteria for independent status on the FAFSA, so you would still be required to report your parents' financial information on the FAFSA. What if I'm considered a dependent student but have no contact with my parents or access to their information? There are other options available to you in these situations, so it is possible for a dependent student to submit the FAFSA without parental information. If you have indicated on your FAFSA that you cannot contact your parents or access their financial information, you'll need to speak to staff at the financial aid office at the college or career school you plan to attend. The financial aid staff will tell you what to do next. So what if my parents aren't going to help me pay for college and refuse to provide information for my FAFSA? If this is the case, the only federal aid you may be able to receive will be an unsubsidized loan which is a federal student loan that begins accruing interest as soon as you receive your funds. To find out whether you can get the loan, fill out your FAFSA and then speak to the financial aid staff at the college or career school that you wish to attend. If you have any other questions regarding financial aid, your college or career school will be able to answer them for you and, if appropriate, make a decision about your dependency status. Their decision is final and cannot be appealed to the U.S. Department of Education. No matter your dependency status, make sure to complete the FAFSA to find out what federal money you can get for college or career school. If you have questions or need more information, please visit studentaid.gov. And there you have it. So, while you may have a unique or blended family structure, you might still need your parent or guardian's help completing the FAFSA. If you're not sure how to proceed, Follow the video's advice and reach out directly to your college, university, or trade school in which you're interested and ask them for guidance. You can also make an appointment with Stand By Me Next Gen, powered by the State of Delaware and the United Way of Delaware. Scan the QR code to register for online financial aid and scholarship presentations, as well as one-on-one -on -one FAFSA completion appointments. You can also check with your school counselor about when Stand By Me Next Gen will be at your school for in-person presentations and workshops. They may even be able to connect you directly with us to help add clarity to your situation. The Delaware Department of Education's Higher Education Office offers webinars and resources to inform and guide you on all things financial aid and post-secondary education, including dependency status. Delaware Student Success is one of those resources available to all Delaware students. They offer checklists for success, information on college and career, and tons of scholarships. 
be sure to keep an eye on their calendar of events and definitely become familiar with the scholarship compendium. So like we saw in the video, schools do have some leeway in determining your dependency status. So if you have a unique or blended family structure, make sure you talk to the school or schools about your options. Don't just skip the FAFSA because you aren't sure what to do. You might miss out on aid for which you're entitled, but only if you complete the FAFSA. I'm Corey with Stand By Me Next Gen for the Delaware Department of Education's Higher Education Office. Thanks for watching.